Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Okay. I feel like um, somebody is very focused on... Uh, a person, a relationship, a commitment uh, with this uh, with this card being here, okay, um, or the value of something, um, or focused on someone that they value. Um, somebody may have felt, uh, overwhelmed and just, boom, dropped, uh, the offer or the relationship, um, because it feels like suddenly everything is scattered. I feel like somebody became overwhelmed, afraid, uh, boxed in maybe. Um, I think that somebody frankly had back here a fear of commitment or just wasn't ready to commit or didn't like the terms, <laughs> so to speak. I feel like uh, I feel like they wanted the relationship, but maybe, uh, again, it's like uh, too many rules or um, a sense of uh, mm -hmm, like a loss of their freedom. Like they, I feel like it's their perception of things. Okay, we'll keep going. We'll get more details. Okay, uh, so they, again, it has to come, it comes down with, uh, to the cup and what was offered or what was shared, what they were receiving, possibly. They may have thought that things were not as they appeared to be. I feel that that has already happened. Um, somebody wasn't happy with an offer and thus they turned it down. They either weren't happy with it or they just were not ready to fully commit. But I feel like they felt there's that Ten of Wands again. They felt overwhelmed, like too much was being laid on them or asked of them. And it's like they threw it off. They just threw it off. We see it over here. Here they're carrying them. Here they just couldn't carry it anymore. They just threw it off. They felt misunderstood. And they were not willing uh, to compromise with something, something that was being offered or something you wanted um, because of what they felt they were going to receive or were receiving or what was maybe being taken from them, what they felt, their perception of things. This person, when they threw that off, when they just threw those uh, wands down, uh, and that's like all the negative thoughts they were having about whatever was being offered, um, about what they would be receiving, they threw it down and they went to the extreme on something. 
They may have even cheated. I mean, they, they went to the extreme on something. They may have cheated, and it's strange because I'm hearing in my head it was almost like to prove a point for this person. You know, it, it was nasty. It was not nice what they did or the way that they did it, and they know that. So they, it's almost like to prove a point. But I almost feel like they, not only did they hurt you, but they hurt themselves here. Somebody got really upset and, uh, and or maybe maybe you're really upset and frustrated with them because you've heard about it like and and at the time you were meant to cuz let's remember they were scattered they went to the extreme on something they were upset about something and now you know it it's ended badly nobody's really Nobody has won anything here. Both of both of these people have lost something. And uh, there's a realization for this person that they've lost more than they bargained for here. I feel like they did not recognize your value or the value of this relationship at the time that this all went down. I don't feel that they were seeing clearly. I don't feel that they were thinking clearly. And so I feel like this person wants to come back. There's distance between you two right now. Um, currently, they want to close that distance. They want to come back. The question is, can you forgive them for what they've done? See, they want to come back. They still have very intense uh, feelings for you. Um, you could hear from this person quite by surprise. Um, yeah, you would, you may not have been expecting a return after what they did, you know, because really what they did was, was uncalled for. It wasn't nice, uh, and they know it. And so it's, it's like this person, it's because it's like they wanted you, they wanted to deepen the relationship, but when it came to actually making it happen or manifesting it, they became paralyzed with fear. So there's a reason for that. I, I would look deeper into that, into why that happened. You know, I feel like there was a lot of imagined fears that, that w went along with this commitment. I mean, this, this could be somebody that got cold feet at the end, like of moving in together or maybe an engagement or maybe there was even talk of getting married and they got cold feet and backed out and went to the extreme and did something that was really not nice. And I feel like this person has behaved possibly like this in the past because I have two cards that would indicate a lesson that has not been learned by this person so there is a deeper emotional issue when it comes to actual actually committing for this person that you need to look into because we both know that this is not over right and so um if you you know if if you want things to be better in the future and you don't want history to repeat itself in the future then you need to look into that there's a deeper reason and experience something that happened something very uh, traumatic that happened to that person in the past that that set them up to uh, to react this way Okay, so that's um, the direction you need to uh, you need to look in. So um, it's it's here again. 
that Ten of Wands feeling like he, you, you might feel uh, like you've hit a dead end or, or, or they did. They, there could have been, um, uh, they may have felt like, because that can be like that victim type of energy. I do feel that this person, even though they did go to the extremes and they did uh, something that was uh, uncalled for and was really not nice, not necessary, uh, this person does love you. Okay, I feel like uh, they always have loved you. I feel like they may not have realized it until after they've lost uh, they've lost you, you know. Unfortunately, that's maybe what it took for them to act. Well, unfortunately, actually, you know, everything happens for a reason. This is happening for a reason. But in, it's almost like this tower moment happens. And in this tower moment, there is a silver lining. I don't have the tower here but I'm feeling it and and so oh yes so uh, I feel some really really strong emotions here because my eyes are tearing up and um, there's a realization and unfortunately it did take this to um, oh dear lord okay it took this to for them to realize one minute I'll just collect my myself and just uh, get back grounded okay it took this for them to uh, to see it they um, they're coming back. They're going to attempt it. They know that they have to face uh, up for what they've done. They are taking responsibility for it. Again, please look to the deeper issue. Something has been learned here. And like I said, you know, it. unfortunately, two people got hurt in this case, but there is that silver li lining and uh, trust me, this is going to get much, much better if uh, you uh, can find it in your heart to forgive this person. I do feel that uh, that this is like the it's like a learning curve here and here for this person. And I do feel you have the star here twice. This person does answer a wish of yours. Although it feels like right now it's really painful. It's been very difficult. But there is an answered prayer. There is a wish that is coming true here. Um, there's a new beginning. There is a, a making up and um, a new offer. An apology there's a very deep apology here this person uh, made a bad choice okay and they have learned from it and they are very very sorry they are coming to ask you for your forgiveness you see here they are they're looking back at uh, something they've done with with deep regret They're out in the cold here. They're out in the cold. They go inside the church and pray for help. Um, it's almost like they, they hit that brick wall and they just sat down in defeat for for a time. And then there's this, this realization that, well, you know, no miracle here is going to fall in my lap. I have everything I need to change this. I just have to get up and take the action and do it, you know. And that's what they're going to do. 
there's a realization that um, they can no longer stay here in this place, that if they want change, they must make these changes. And that's exactly what they're going to do. There, uh, there's sudden movement here. And here they come. And they know, while they're ready to face whatever uh, you might say to them, they're ready for this. Because of this king, he's got this hawk on his hand and, and the hawk, the claws kind of dig in um, because he doesn't, he's not wearing any covering. So this person is not going to cover up anything. They're going to be honest and truthful when they come forward and they're going to be ready to accept uh, whatever uh, whatever judgment I feel that you're going to lay on them. They're, they're, they've decided. Here they come. Here they come. And um, they're coming clean. They're doing the right thing, and um, they're following their heart here. We have the uh, seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. It's funny, eh? Here they are inside the church. I feel like they have been shown the way, frankly. Um, so this card in the upright position like this indicates uh, a, a very open and free-flowing channel of information and inspiration from the spirit world. Okay, this is the representing the crown chakra. This can be a time of great intuition and guidance from uh your higher awareness or theirs, like depending whose energy this is. It is about learning to quiet the mind and listen. Um, here inside the church, they'd have done that. And so in this space, uh, the connection here is opened and I feel that they did receive the answers that they were looking for. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.